Hey there, TikTokers. Do you remember the case of Devon Erickson or Isabella Guzman? Both became famous on the social network TikTok after committing a murder. Today, we return with a similar case, that of Claire Miller. At the age of 14, the young woman seemed like a very normal person. She went to high school and spent much of her free time on TikTok or extracurricular activities. She lived in Lancaster, Pennsylvania with her parents and her older sister, who suffered from cerebral palsy. Her family used to appear in some of the videos she posted on the platform, especially her father. She shared a lot of content, from cosplays of her favorite anime to dances or just imitations and parodies. However, some followers and friends had noticed that lately she was depressed and she was uploading dark and strange content. At home, they focused a lot on caring for their older sister, Helen, who was totally dependent. They were trying to divide up this task, so Claire knew exactly how to take care of her sister. Family peace vanished on the night of February 22nd, 2021. It was Monday and the area was very quiet. But at one in the morning, the police received a very strange call. On the other end of the phone was a very nervous girl. She stuttered and was barely understood. But after several questions from the operator, they managed to understand what she was saying. I stabbed my sister. A patrol rushed to the family home. 15 Clayton Road. Once there, they didn't understand anything. Outside, they came across a bloodstained young woman wiping her hands in the snow. She was in shock and could barely articulate a word, but she still managed to guide the agents through the family home to Helen's room. What they found there was a macabre scene, the crime scene. Her parents were in the next room, but until the moment they heard the police sirens, they didn't know anything. They hadn't heard how their youngest daughter murdered their eldest or the emergency call. Officers searched the crime scene and found Helen with a pillow across her face and a stab at her neck. There was a lot of blood everywhere and it seemed that the young woman was dead. But after a quick exam, they found that she was still breathing and transferred her to a nearby hospital. There, they fought for her life as much as they could, but she finally passed away a few hours later. Claire had placed a cushion on her sister's face to keep her from making noise, and then she had stabbed her. Later, it was revealed that Helen had tried very hard to defend herself, because Claire had scratches on her body, but it was too late. Claire Miller was arrested and without bail due to the murder charge. In addition, by the laws of her area, she was going to be tried as an adult and not as a minor. This means much higher penalties. And now you may be wondering, why did they nickname her the TikTok killer? Word is spread that this young woman was active on the social network and her profile was filled with curious people. In a few days, she reached 40,000 subscribers. Her publications were filled with comments, some made hypotheses about what happened, others criticized her and others supported her. Seeing this, TikTok ended up closing the profile for violating its rules, which aroused the ire of many. Many things have been said about the reasons that led the young woman to murder her sister. Some said that she had learned that their parents had written that they left all their property to Helen and that had enraged her. Others assured that she didn't feel loved and others spoke of mental problems. Be that as it may, the young woman ended the life of one of her family members. A terrible crime that should never have happened. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. And if you want to see more Draw My Life videos, subscribe to our channel. See you in the next episode.